the other creative challenge was, how do you explain to somebody in Santa Monica what a hush puppy is? <laughs> We've got blueberry and strawberry hush puppies that come with an icing packet in there. And you can bake them or fry them. They're better fried, so like donuts. <laughs> but they have real fruit inside of it. Right. And you drizzle the icing over the top. It's a healthy choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would never <laughs> say it was a healthy choice on camera or off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for all fruit. <laughs> I'll tell you by saying I'll well, fry food in a second. <laughs> so how do you explain what a hush puppy is to somebody in Santa Monica, right? So we shot a series of videos from 30 seconds to two and a half minutes that are simply prep videos. The old overhead shot, bing, 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 bing. And uh, all of the banner ads link to the videos and then down to our landing page. The nice thing about WMX is we've got several different creative executions out there in the Walmart sphere, and their system is in real time monitoring which ads are performing and which ones aren't, and it's suppressing the ads that aren't performing and promoting the ads that are. And this happens in real time. Sure. It's set it and forget it for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the icing on the cake or the hush puppy. You know, no <laughs> At the end of the day is they provide a dashboard and we can monitor some of the results. Others won't be available until the end of the campaign. But it's just this beautiful, turnkey, gorgeous thing. And I've never heard of it. So we take that, we do an overlay of social media, very heavy presence on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, where a lot of the foodies go, right? And that has a national reach, whether it's intended or not. So that's our national campaign. I don't have a $40 million media budget like I did in Anheuser Bush, but I can spend about $200,000 in a very targeted fashion over a focused time period and read the results. And if I want to, we can come back and repeat it two or three times a year. So that's how we're getting the product off the shelf. Now we're only into this. Products went on the shelf September 14th, and it takes two weeks for all the Walmarts to convert. So really, we're just this week getting full distribution nationally. I had the campaign kick off on the 14th of uh, October, and you can just see the weekly sales results tick up the day the campaign kicked in. So how do you um, how do you do that at House Auction Mills? How do you figure out how to take those features and turn them into benefits? What's your process there of understanding? Um, first, by understanding our core consumer segments, we've got two audiences. Um, among our current consumers, we index 300 to 500 with African-American families. So this was a segment that had been totally ignored by the company historically. So we went out, I pulled some data, found out that we indexed that highly, did some qualitative work to understand how to connect with them emotionally, their vocabulary, what interests them, what values them about our brand. And it turns out it's fried food and skillets. Skillets are handed down from grandmother to mother to daughter to granddaughter um, as if it was a cherished piece of family history, which it is. Because in the black culture, frying is just an inherent part of being part of the Southeast, which is where most African Americans trace their roots back to. So how did you deal with that from a marketing standpoint? What came next after getting the data? Well, we needed, the first thing we did is we needed to forget about frying as a functional activity and think about it as an experience that brings families together in the kitchen and around the table. So what we've done, first thing, the first thing I did was put together a brand video about 
our core audience and how important the House Autry brand is to that audience about bringing families together around the dinner table when life these days works against that. Everybody's texting across the table. The kids are going to soccer practice and ballet practice and fencing lessons and God knows what else. But we're the brand that brings people together around the dinner on Friday, the dinner table on Friday nights, and for usually for fish and Sunday afternoon after church for fried chicken. So we had to change our attitude about what we were actually delivering. And we're delivering a family experience. And the brand video had to communicate that on real emotional terms. So I worked really hard with the agency and the production company to get the casting right and let people speak in their own words. We didn't script one word of it. 